All right, Coach, just yeah. uh, just give me a quick overview of the, the game physical, uh, specifically today. Yeah, I think, um, you know, we kept it vanilla in all three phases. You know, uh, you know, want to be relatively simple from a scheme standpoint with it being, a, you know, an open scrimmage, but wanted the guys to play with, you know, great energy, great effort, and see our execution improved. And, you know, certainly wasn't clean uh, or where we needed to be by any stretch of the imagination, but for our 15th opportunity, I thought we took another positive step forward. As the as a day as a whole, uh, with the fans being here, the energy, the atmosphere, the band, just how'd that feel back here at Akron? I know it was different from the last time you were here. Yeah, I mean, I think it was a snapshot of what we can become and where we're going to go. Uh, you know, full stands, band. I think we had over 50 football alumni here, recognized at halftime all of our signees. You know, probably 50, 50, 75 recruits here, and just great energy. Uh, you know, that's what you know what we saw in here today from a. Uh, you know, relatively small sample size. That's what we want InfoCision to look like during the season, and we're going to. What's kind of the next assessment area for you and your coaches after getting these 15 practices done in the spring? Yeah, we, uh, at the start of next week, we're going to sit down. The kids will meet with their kids. The uh, coaches will meet with their players individually and just kind of review the spring, uh, you know, go over their academics, talk about, uh, you know, our plan for the summer. I'll meet, meet with all the guys, and then they'll finish up uh, finals, have a couple weeks off. And then we'll, uh, we'll, um, you know, we'll get heading into phase three, which is our summer program. What are what are the things that you uh, hope that the guys take out of the spring that they will then use for motivation, or do they need motivation for the summer and the program that you have set up and your strengths and staff? Yeah, motivation is pretty simple. You get, the, the guys who aren't motivated won't play, so that's that's pretty simple from that standpoint. But we talk about culture never resting, right? And everything that we do on and off the field, discipline, accountability, work ethic, attention to detail mental physical toughness you know that, that coach Ben started in the weight room and we carried into spring ball you know and it, the old cliche champions are made when no one's watching so this is the time during the summer when they're going to be lifting they're going to be running they're going to be throwing and doing those things on their own and uh you know we uh we can't afford to take a, a step back and, and we're not going to we're going to take we're going to take a step forward I'm going to take one step back just in the regards of how were teams kind of assigned for this uh event here today was there anything to it at all? Or? Well, I mean, this is my 25th year doing this, and you see every version of a, of a modified spring game that's possible. So, you know, we split it up and tried to do as good of a job as possible, evening the teams out, but not disrupting chemistry of uh, the people who they've been working with the entire spring. So, uh, you know, we, we split it up as good as we can, but want to make sure guys who were in the game with who they've been playing with all spring. Uh, you know, so that's a challenge, but you know, it ended up being a pretty competitive game. Appreciate uh, the time as always, Coach, and we'll talk to you some more. Awesome. Summer. Go Zips.